Welcome to day five of our Advent devotional series. Today's reading is John chapter one, verses six to nine. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. Well, welcome to day five in our Advent devotional series here at Oakwood Church. My name is Josh and you join me for our passage today, which is John chapter one, verses six to nine. Well, I wonder if you've ever been mistaken for someone else. Maybe someone thought that you looked like a celebrity or even a friend. Maybe you've mistaken someone on the street for a friend, a passing resemblance of someone else. And in that moment, we think that we know that other person, don't we? We've made assessments and judgments based on a split decision. We don't know who that person is until we're right up face to face with them. Now, this is the experience of John, who we see in our passage today. Now, this is the introduction of John the Baptist in the book of John, Um, but it's not his first appearance in the Bible. He's actually mentioned at various points throughout the Old Testament, not by name. Um, And one of them is from the book of Malachi, uh, chapter three and verse one says the following. I will send my messenger who will prepare the way before me. This messenger is is John and he has been sent by God. This whole section we see is dedicated to explaining who John is. Many people in the time thought that John really was the Messiah, the chosen one who was coming to save them. But verse eight we see makes this very clear. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. See, John had a clear mission, witness. His witnessing was to all of Judea, it says, and his motives were selfless in nature. He didn't want any of the credit, but rather acting as a big flashing neon sign pointing to Jesus. The word was flesh right in front of many people and he wanted no one to miss it. This is the very light that started everything. Creation and life were all started through this light. And now he was standing among his people. John knew that this message would change the course of history and he wanted everyone to know it. John knew that Jesus was the light referred to in our passage. And he also knew that this light, Jesus, would save his people. John was a humble messenger who wanted the people around him to be saved. Doesn't that sound like our mission today as well? 